What up great people, it's your favorite rope guy here Lawrence from Low Fitness and today I'll be showing you how to do the Kruger jump rope trick. If you're new to this channel and you want to learn how to jump rope, be motivated by your workout to be fit, hit that subscribe button and turn on notification. So this is one of the intermediate or advanced tricks in the jump rope community and it's very very simple. If you can follow the few tips we'll share with you on this video and you'll be nailing it like a pro. So the first thing you should consider is practicing this move without the rope but you need a good jump rope so it doesn't trip on you that's what's very essential and the main thing you should do for practice and to get that flexibility is you have to place your hand behind like below the hand or the leg of that side of your body so it's not like the toad where you have to cross this way this you have to place the hand of same side below the leg and you need to learn how to jump on one foot. So I advise you to train and practice how to like jump on one foot, regular bounce on one foot to give you that good balance and also for you to trust yourself that yeah, you can jump on one leg. So to do that, you have to like create an imaginary jump without the rope. So let's say from this rope direction to you kind of place your hand below and you keep jumping. Now, while your hand is below, the leg of same side you need good wrist action so the first thing you should pay attention to in that position is let's say from this position right if you kick your foot out this way it to kind of obstruct the movement of your hand because you need this rotation to keep the rope going so I want you to consider is how to get your feet away so once you clear your way like this your hand can still keep winding and the rope will go now if the placement of this hand is kind of way out it will pull the rope direction to this way and it will still trip on you. So you need to keep this hand as close as possible to your body so that the rope can rotate in this direction to make sure it clears space for the foot and it doesn't trip on it. So those are very, very important points and try to as much as possible jump with this foot on the ground because I'll be showing you on my right side, I'm right dominant and it'll be a lot easier for tutorial purposes. So, now, to enter into this move, there's another important thing you need to know. Now, from this position, let's say this is the rhythm you're jumping with. You're jumping with this rhythm. If you want to enter the, to uh, sorry, if you want to enter the Kruger, you need to slow down a bit. Like, you need that drag to buy you time for you to raise up your leg, place your hand beneath your feet, your leg, and you keep winding. So, let me show you and you better understand what I'm trying to say. You notice it kind of messes my rhythm a bit because of that small, like few seconds of drag to make sure I enter the Kruger and continue with my move. So let's say from this rhythm, you notice that. So the movement into this move is, you have to like, you have to create it as if you're going into a side swing. Your leg will jump over. So from regular bounce, one, so you need to incorporate this into your practice. One, two, to enter the toad. Now, you notice my hand is moving from my side to the middle of my body, right? So once it comes to this side, this leg is out. So if I jump with both legs now, this will actually trip beneath, like around here. But that's not the case. So what happens is, immediately I come in here, make sure you're jumping with this and you're raising this foot to place the rope this way. Now, once you do that right, the rope will pass through correctly. So try to like maintain that slow drag to buy you that time to place your hand beneath your leg and you start winding forward. So from this position, I kind of, you notice that. Now to get out of this move, you can also cross or do anything, but I enjoy crossing most of the time. So let me show you again for better understanding from regular bounce, regular bounce, and boom, you're into and out of the Kruger. Show you from this direction too, for you to understand. Let me clear some space. I go regular, regular, I enter the Kruger. You notice my foot placement. Place it in such a way that it doesn't tangle your rope. And make sure you keep this hand close to your body so the rope arc does not form that direction <coughs> to trip on your leg, but coming out this way to go in a good arc for you. So finally, before we end this tutorial, let me show you five consecutive Kruger. 
Notice what my hand is doing. Notice my hand's placement and see how it's going. Yeah, so that's how the Kruger is done. If you apply these few tips I've shared with you, leg placement, flexibility training, the drag and your wrist action. Very, very important guys. Make sure you always include your wrist action. Once you apply these few tips, I'll show you, you'll be a pro of this move in a very, very short time. All right, so this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Share it with your friend who is still learning or adding more advanced tricks to his trick collection. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our lovely content. Until next time, guys, remain beautiful, handsome, be fit, and most importantly, stay healthy. Take care of yourself, guys. Enjoy.